Um, in this module, we're going to look at panel config, the preferences. So I select panel config. Um, on the bottom row here, you'll see preferences button mapping. I'm going to select preferences. Um, and the main one I like is menu tracking. And I always have that selected to yes. You can see elsewhere, there's plenty of other options. You have to look through them carefully and see which ones you want to turn on or turn off. Then moving on to button mapping. So panel config, then button mapping, the second button on the bottom. Um, I want to show you, first of all, how to set up a new button map. So first of all, I just want to show you what our banks are. So if I go show banks, on the mixer, you'll see A and B bank. Also, I can select show cross point to show the cross point we're looking at. Um, now, if I go to new, it'll bring up a list, which is basically as the mixer is configured engineering wise. Um, you can see cross point one, two, we've got long name, cross point four and five. What I'm going to do is just go in and change the first and second input to something else. So I come over here and on my primary cross points, I'm going to select another source. I can select that either by going up and down, but what I like to do is select the pop up. I'm going to put a store. So I'll go store and store one. That's my first input. On my second input, I'm going to go pop up again, store store two. Um, I'm going to come further down here. On cross point four, I'm going to just disable this. So I've inhibited the button when it comes up on the mixer. Then I'm just going to save that to file. I go save. I get, need to give it a name. We'll just call it new. And hit save. So now you can see my list that number four is now called new. To load that into my mixer, I select it. I come down here and I go I'm on ME2 at the moment, I go load, and you'll see the inputs have changed. You'll see store one, store two, and my inhibited button here. Now, if I want to edit that while I'm in this mode, I can go into edit, and I can come along and maybe enable that button. So now you can see four and five. Or I could go back to maybe input one and put cross point one into it. And you see that change. And then I have to save to file again. And I save to file. Save. Overwrite, yes. OK, in panel config, a very useful thing to use is live mode. So in panel config, down the bottom, button information. And at the top of the screen, you'll see live mode. Um, let's just record or set up some stuff. When I hold it down, it goes red. You'll see the mixer turns a little purple color. What I'm going to do is inhibit areas of the mixer. So I've got a. So I've got a director who's coming along. I only want them to be able to do background mixes. I don't want them to add keys. So I'm just going to select all these buttons I don't want them touching. And then I come out of it. So at the moment, it's off. If I turn it on, it's in green. So panel config button information. If I go along and I want to press one of those buttons, it won't let me select it. And on the GUI, it's flashing each time I do. Um, I'm only able to do a background transition using that. Now, that's perfect. but. The other thing is, how do I turn it all off? If I hold down live mode again, it'll go red. I select the buttons again and turn that off. We're back to where we started.